Warning, this content may be disturbing to some audiences. Subscribe. If you dare. We look over and one guy is stacking glasses, ketchup, salts, peppers. You name it. Literally anything he could get his hands on he was stacking. Hey everybody, welcome to, an Actost. People ask Reddit. Bartenders of Reddit, what is the coolest thing you've witnessed a drunk person do at a bar? Number 1. Ex-bartender assistant here, worked in one of the bigger country bars in Canada. I've seen a fair bit of stupid shit, but the best would have to be a shorter guy, 5 apostrophe 2 ish, step in when a buddy was about to get the shit kicked out of him by another drunk guy over 6 feet 0 inches and reasonably built. The shorter guy steps in, locks the angry drunk, who promptly backhands the shorter guy to the ground. Normally security would have stepped in by now, but it was a busy night and they hadn't seen the altercation. Shorter guy stands back up, dusts himself off and does what I can only describe as a jumping jackhammer punch to the drunk guy's face. Basically he jumped up, and rode the guy down, feeding him what looked to be 5 to 6 punches. Guy was done before he hit the ground, broken nose, the works. Unfortunately both were kicked out due to fighting, but I fought for the shorter guy to stay. Number 2. One time I remember this girl who was crazy. Not going to sugarcoat it. She used to be a regular, and we were in the same middle and high school. She spends the entire night drinking and she is so drunk I don't think she even remembers coming to the club. At the end of the night, the band slash DJ is gone and people are just getting ready to leave and the bar is still open while everyone is leaving, and we're just getting ready to close. She starts yelling at people about how famous she is, she's not, she's got maybe 5-10k followers on Snapchat but she's not famous. She talks about where she is working and how it is more impressive than just working at a bar. Then she just walks into the kitchen and says that she's not leaving unless she gets some complimentary wine bottle or something and then just walks into the bar and tries to get one herself. Of course a bouncer lifts her up and just walks with her out of the kitchen and tells her that it's off limits and now especially for her since she tried to take a bottle. She then goes up on the tables trying to get everyone to come with her and how the devil is in this club and just yells some nonsense and is of course ignored. The bouncers just pick her up and take her outside and then she spends a good hour banging on the windows and yelling at people about how she's famous, how impressive her job at some makeup store is and how everyone there is beneath her. Haven't seen her since that night and this was like, two years ago. Number 3. I don't know if cool is the best description but, I cut a very drunk guy off one night but allowed him to sit at the bar to sober up a bit. After a couple of club sodas, he stumbles over to the jukebox to play some music. It was an old jukebox that required you to push four digits to play a song. Well this guy makes his selection, and when he pushes the fourth digit he pushes himself backwards and falls flat on his back making a huge scene. Just as I start to make my way over to help his drunk ass up his song starts playing. It's I Fall to Pieces by Patsy Cline. Perfect. Number 4. I used to manage and bartend a very busy Boston Pizza in its city of origin. Boston Pizza is known for Fishbowl Friday which is three shots of liquor, mixed, and served in a fishbowl exactly like these. They're made of glass. Some BPs have switched to a plastic globe-like mug thing with a handle, not schooners, but I digress. This guy at my bar told me he was going to steal a fishbowl. This is a common problem and I whipped out my manager balls and told him not to take a chance, and went to decant his drink into a schooner instead as a preventative measure. His fishbowl is gone. He doesn't have a bag, it's the middle of a very hot summer and therefore no jacket and no bulky clothes. Dude fit an entire fishbowl into the crotch of his skinny jeans. He had them sag just so. You couldn't tell when he stood up. He got his fishbowl. Number 5. So dumb, but at last call, my buddy and I went over to one of the exits to make sure people weren't leaving with drinks, city ordinance. We see a very drunk girl in her early 20s approaching, being helped out by two of her friends. When she gets close she goes to my buddy, she raises her hand up for a high five. My buddy raises his hand to give her one and she immediately goes into finger guns and says WHO's gay. Pointing at my friend with his hand raised looking like a dope. It was so random and unexpected, a true stroke of drunken genius. Number 6. I used to work at a golf club. Well. The horn sounded for all the golfers to come in because a storm was coming through. So I've got all these guys in the men's grill drinking and having a good time when the power cuts out. Inky darkness, can't see a thing. The generators turn on after 20 seconds or so, and one of the guys is standing on his chair, with his pants down at his ankles and is pulling off his shirt. He gets it off, 
looks around at the room all staring at him, waits a beat and says oh. We're not doing this? The room erupted. It was just perfect. Number 7. Once at a bar in my hometown on Halloween night everyone was in costumes. I was on the patio slash smoking area and one dude stood out. He was 6 feet 5 inches and dressed in full super real looking cowboy gear, Stetson hat, jeans, duster, boots with spurs, act, just standing in the corner smoking cigarettes by himself all night. So, a bunch of people are on the patio smoking and drinking and I notice a woman, dressed as a slutty minion or something equally silly, with a cigarette in her mouth, digging through her purse looking for a lighter. Out of F.I.N.G. nowhere cowboy Dan swoops in, flicks open a zippo, lights her cigarette, tips his hat and says ma'am and goes back to his corner without another word. It was the coolest goddamn thing I've ever seen. Number 8. A group of guys were being loud and obnoxious assholes, in a very full bar, while playing pool and pumping tons of money into the touch tunes playing their hoobastank or whatever the f they were playing. Being completely disruptive and intimidating anyone trying to use the jukebox. This one random guy sits at the bar right in front of me with his girlfriend and says wanna see something funny. Pulls up the touch tunes app, and starts playing a bunch of random songs and get cute to the front of the list. Almost everyone in the bar started laughing at the group when Mariah Carey's Christmas album started playing while the brothers were yelling at each other to figure out who played the song. Went on for about an hour until they left. Oh random guy. I wish there were more people like you out there. Number 9. I used to be a bartender at a restaurant slash bar that had about 60% regulars in there. One night I was bartending, this big shot guy came in after a round of golf with his buddy. I wasn't familiar with the man, but he was ordering plenty of fancy drinks. Eventually after they eat, their tab is pushing $150. This lady walks in who is a regular, we'll call her January. He gets all excited because he hasn't seen this lady in years apparently. Eventually he gives me the tab back, and orders multiple rounds for the whole bar in hopes to impress January. His tab is like $650 by 9 p.m. which is when we close on Sundays. Tips me $300. I was like f yeah, considering he bought me a couple drinks as well and I'm a broke college kid. Number 10. I tended bar in North Mississippi where several famous musicians have called home at one time or another. We had a regular who had been popular in the 50s and 60s, got regular radio play and others recorded his songs, but was probably more famous for being an influence on the rockabilly movement. Anyway, he could be falling down drunk, barely able to speak or hold his drink, but if he was handed a guitar and guided to the barstool on stage, he could sing and play like he was sober and 40 years younger. As soon as he would set the guitar down, he would need help to walk off the stage. I've seen him finish playing, hand his guitar to its owner, then fall face first on the floor, out cold. If you're curious who he was, he lent his name to a famous bass player in a band known for wearing lots of face paint and singing about Detroit. Number 11. This actually happened a few weeks ago. At the bar I work at there are a few tables that people can sit at and they have a waitress. So there's a party of like six at one of them and all of a sudden people start cheering so we look over and one guy is stacking glasses, ketchup, salts, peppers. You name it. Literally anything he could get his hands on he was stacking. He even had people at other tables donating to his creation. His tower of glassware was about three feet tall. To the point where he had to stand on his chair to keep stacking things. I don't think I've ever seen my manager move faster than at that moment. Number 12. Bartending back in my college days at a local dive bar, the place was shoulder to shoulder packed, and loud as hell. Out of nowhere, some kid slowly starts to stand on one of the bar stools until he has the posture of a marine. After a second or two the entire bar went dead quiet and everyone was looking at him, bar staff included. He then slowly raised a key with a massive pile of coke on it up to his nose, inhaled and threw a fist in the air. The entire bar erupted in applause. Usually if you pull a stunt like that you'll get kicked out, but something about this kid made it so goddamn funny that I floated him a few shots on the house instead. Number 13. Not the coolest. Possibly the grossest. I watched this very large man wobbling at the bar, holding on as if he was gonna get thrown out of orbit. I instinctively gave him some water and told him to straighten up or he was out, chugging the water he just grunted then started heaving. I slowly backed up and got a bouncer, I'll be damned if I'm cleaning up barf. We watched this man start barfing in his cup. We went over to escort him out and he was so committed to his sobriety he told me his barf cup was his drink then drank it. He. Drank. A cup. Of. Barf. 
Straight face then told us he was sober. I admire his dedication. Number 14. Not a regular bartender but I occasionally help in a small bar, one time I was there, it was already late, around 4 am, only a few people inside when a guy enters inside, he was clearly drunk, bare feet and with a small guitar, similar with a ukulele. And at first my boss thought we should get rid of him but then the dude starts playing with his guitar and everybody starts singing folk songs and everyone asking for more drinks again and again, it was a good night. Number 15. One of my drunk regulars was a marine, and said he was special forces. He was so interesting really, and an art collector. One slow night, with only regulars, a super expensive craft beer bar, he brought down a hand-woven rug from Iran. It was an incredible rug, with so much character and depth. He put it on the floor of the bar, and everyone, including myself, took our shoes off and walked all over it to feel how amazing it was on the old feet. Said it cost him 4,000 US dollars. It was neat, d when I put my two weeks in, he invited us all up, his apt was above the bar, and showed us his collection. He also had pictures on the wall with himself, and the living presidents. Very cool, to us nerd smile then he tipped $600 cash for the good times. Great person, but suffered from harsh PTSD that he self-medicated. Hope is okay these days. Number 16. A drunk regular accidentally takes another drunk regular's purse home. She calls him to bring the purse back, they were friends, which he does while eating an ice cream cone. She rhetorically asked where her ice cream was. He proceeds to go to the gas station across the street and comes back with a whole grocery bag full of ice cream cones and not only gives one to her, but to every customer at the bar and multiple to us bartenders. There was something so adorable about a room full of adults elated to have one giant, spontaneous ice cream party. Make sure to share your personal story in the comments below and have the opportunity to be featured in a future video. Also, if you like these topics don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to continue seeing more content like this every day. See you next time.